Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review this new Hourglass Ambient Volume 4 palette. And I love this rose packaging. Maybe you know, but for a couple of weeks ago, I tried Hourglass products for the first time and I fell in love. So I'm very happy and excited that I can review this palette. Of course, it's very nice packaging, but it gets dirty very fast. Fingerprints everywhere. But uh, I reviewed this palette that I bought a couple of weeks ago. It has a um, finishing powder, a blush, and a highlighter. And in this palette, you get two finish, two finish powders. These two are finished powders. You get a highlighter, a highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer. Now, I did try a bronzer too, and this is in Nude Bronze Light. Let me show you. Here is, and I love love this bronzer. But this bronzer ha, is called Filtered Bronzer Light. I know I don't know if it's the same bronzer. I don't think so. But I'm going to swatch all of the products and I'm going to apply them on my face. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So I do look flat because I do have my base on and I did set my makeup and I do have eye, eye makeup but I don't have any bronzer, any blush, any highlight or anything else to make this face more beautiful. So I'm here to try a bit and try and review this palette. So I'm going to take my brush, powder brush and I'm going to dip into these two shades. It's dim light and fused light, these two going to mix them because they are finishing powders and I'm going to put it all over my face. So it's very important that you set your makeup with a setting powder and then go into finishing powder because setting powder and the finishing powder is not the same. So this one is a little bit deeper than this one so I'm going to go more into that light one and put it a little bit under my eyes. I really like how this makes my skin look like it has a filter on. I love it. And I have a couple of um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows, single eyeshadows on my eyes today. If you're interested to know. And L'Oreal Foundation. Revolution Concealer. And Huda Beauty Setting Powder or baking powder. Now I'm going to go into this highlighter and it's the same highlighter that I have in this palette and it's called uh, Strobe uh, Euphoric Strobe Light and I'm going to go in, into my highlighter palette and I really like this highlighter for everyday use very easy to build up and it looks so natural and beautiful. So if you don't like very, really strong highlighters, very bright and strong, this is maybe for you. Okay, then I want to go into the bronzer and take this brush. They are a little bit smaller than I thought, so it's hard to go in with this big brush. Mm. Maybe you can't see, but if you compare these sides, you can see that I have some bronzer on. This looks more natural than this flat side. So I like this bronzer, but maybe use a smaller brush next time. <laughs> so guys, I really like how this looks. I'm going to go into blush. And I actually want to try this blush because, I don't know, just want Because the other looks so much similar to this one. And the blush that I'm trying out, this one, purple one, it's called Euphoric Fusion and Luminous Glow is 
this voluminous glow and euphoric fusion. Oh, it's pigmented. And I like the mirror in here. It's very pigmented. I like it. So, guys, let's do swatches. Let's start with one, two, three. I don't know if you see it, but it's a finishing powder. It's hard to see. Two, three. It's very... I don't know if camera can pick it up. Let's go into bronzer, blush. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but they're very soft and nice. And, it's, and these, these products are very easy to build up on the skin. It makes everything look so nice and it feels like I have a filter on. I think this is worth the money, though I think that I like the this kind of packaging more because it depends on a little bit bigger but do you know what guys I think this palette is amazing I just want to compare the blush with this one no it's not the same blush this is more pinky and this one is a little bit just a little bit dark more peachy so they are not the same shades that's good so guys, that this video was very, was very fast, but I really like how everything right now looks so nice and fresh and feels like I, looks like I have a filter on, but I don't. And yeah, if you're considering, considering to buy this palette, I will definitely say yes if you don't have anything. If you have the, these kind of palettes, maybe you don't need this one. But if you're considering to try something from Hourglass, then maybe it, it will be good to put your money on this kind of palettes, on this palette, so you can try more products from um, Hourglass. I think this is, the, this is worth the money. So guys, I hope you like this video. I have nothing bad to say about this palette, except that maybe the pants could be a little bit bigger. I really like this palette. I think everything looks beautiful and it's very easy to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up if you did and see you in my next video. Bye.